hi guys i'm dami and welcome to lumion 11. so today we'll be starting a project within 15 seconds so let's get started create a new project and we're not going to be using the default um plain ground we'll be using create sub urban environment so this is what you see when you open the sub urban environment quickly i'm trying to open loading my sketchup file and as you can see this is my sketchup file so what i have to do i have to drag it on a point then escape then i'm going to move it a bit up in so we're good to go this tutorial is not just for it's not for breaking out so i'm going to forward some things so i'm trying to apply material i'm trying to change my glass it's basic glass edit glass preset I'm trying to change this wall also to something more photorealistic so let me change this wall to something darker trying to adjust the color tone and this upper part to to like a concrete and i have to add some effect on the concrete like the weathering effect increase the weathering effect a bit and you can just play with all these parameters i don't want it to be too much let me just reduce it a bit make it yeah i think i like this so we copy the same material to these pillars and i have to adjust the parameter settings this floor too i have to just use the default material make it add that word when effect to the floor also to this road map to to make it a little bit photorealistic so we're done so let me just i'm trying to make things forward things because of the time frame of this tutorial so i'm trying to use the existing flower on this scene and i think i like this flower so i have to copy it if you want to copy you press alt and move so let me fast forward so i'm trying to add more uh, vegetation here um, after that i will try to rescale some make some bigger make some smaller and rotate some and the rest so that's what you want to do so let's go to our camera shot okay this is what you will see so i have to click on an empty space you can see because most time if you want to get a good view you don't want to uh, you don't want to adjust it on a template that already has a preset sorry so i'm trying to adjust my camera adjust the focal length so i adjust it to like 23 and um, so this is not actually the final view we're going to use in this tutorial i'm trying i'm just trying to get a nice picture frame setting and <laughs> We might touch this view later in the video so let me just snap this to keep this view so um let's go and do other things like uh, i think i should put a car so i have to drag in the car already on this project that's what i'm, I'm trying to um, make the car metallic I deleted some of the big trees around the building i don't want to see a lot of big trees so i want the model to be a bit simpler and i don't want a complex background so i want to populate the environment of my model so i'm trying to copy some of the vegetation we already have on this scene to copy just select with control and drag with art so trying to move it so i think i like this oh there's a plant on the walkway let me just drag that one off the walkway here mm -mm. so i think this is nice i like this 
So let me try and change my camera position because of this car. I want the car to be a bit exaggerated on at this view. So let me just adjust it a bit and update the preview. Okay. I don't like that. So I have to delete that tree. Yeah. So. Um, so what's next? I think this is perfect. So let me snap using this uh, preset here. Now you can see this preset is even very cool now. Oh, what you will need to do, let's start tweaking this preset a bit. I don't really like this sun. So let me just drag the sun up. I want the sun to be above the red sky. So that the effect of the sun can override the red sky. So let me just try and reduce the height of the sun. I want evening scene, so I don't want too much sun on the. Uh, I don't want too much sun to eat the building. So let me just reduce this. I think this. Alfred, I want it to be around that 8. Oh, yeah, 8.2 is okay. So let me increase this a bit. I want, yeah, okay. I think this is nice. Yeah, hey. But I want a bit of sunlight on this scene. I don't just want to go without light. Like this, and this, this, oh. Okay, um, let's see what I can do to this. So I think it's perfect. Let me adjust this red sky, increase the brightness. Just double click on the preview to update the preview. So I think the brightness is too much. Let me just adjust it a bit. Something about Lumia, you will need a good system so that as you're doing all these uh, adjustments, you're seeing it. So it's just about individual taste. So I'm just trying to work on this brightness too. This brightness too much. Um, I think this okay. Uh, let me just try and adjust my frame a bit. I want to see more of the sky. Okay. Um, I think this. Um, we're almost there. Yeah, this is perfect. Mm, so I have to. Well, you have to restore the camera now, okay. Let's talk about the reflection. We need to control the reflection. You know, around this glass really, uh, we need to control. So we add plane. So we add the reflective plane. So, and where you have a reflective material like a glass. So, I'm trying to add the reflective plane. Okay. I think this is better. You can see nice reflection on that railings now. You don't even need to do a lot of edit to get a good... Um, so what I'm trying to do now is to activate this, my rope light. My, can call it rope light it's not a track light it's like a rope light so i want to make it a mu save so so actually we're not doing much of applying of material in this tutorial so maybe if you guys want me to do more of applying of material you can uh, actually Put it on the comment box then i will do more tutorial on editing material so let's focus on getting a photo realistic i'll trade the year first okay 
oh this is nice but i think the light is quite too bright so let me adjust it so if you have not at this moment i think you guys enjoyed the video if you have not liked subscribed and click your notification for this page you are not actually encouraging me i would love you to like and comment share and subscribe to this channel so that you can get more of my uh, post I, I think this is the first video i'm just going to upload here so you guys should please support my small also <laughs> all right so i'm trying to adjust the light i have to add real light after making this thing immersive so that it can give us more effect so hope you guys are subscribed thank you for subscribing yeah um you can also share this video among your friends too i think this settings i'm trying to do this tutorial will help a lot of people that want a quick rend render you want it to look like a professional or uh, what's it called a professional render so let's adjust this group light and add it to this other side i'm pressing alt i'm holding an alt on my keyboard to duplicate anything so, so we can go back to the picture to camera then yeah i think this this is much better i like this yeah this is fine this is fine let me just add a bit of uh, maybe light let me drop a con light there okay let me drop con light here yeah actually yeah i actually like the effect of the cone light okay we're almost done so the last thing i like doing is adjusting my vegetation to 3d grass sometimes the 3d grass is a bit heavy and if you do it first it may wait it may make your system a bit slower so that's the last thing i do so i'm trying to uh, add more vegetation more flowers to that other side yeah okay i think this is perfect so just click to preview to update the preview mm -mm. Well, i think this is simple basic rendering now let me just add this precipitation i want to increase it to make to increase the amount of water on the floor yeah mm -mm. Uh, let me spice up this scene. <laughs> let me add this small dog. <laughs> uh, I don't like adding human being because sometimes it makes it. Uh, but let me just add this dog. <laughs> I think this is nice. I like pets. Mm -hmm. uh, let's render and yeah so this is perfect so please kindly like subscribe and turn up your notification thank you and this is the final picture